welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be taking you through our bathroom transformation or maybe transformations. <laughs> uh, this bathroom has gone through a couple little makeovers in the time it's taken me to actually record and upload this video. So bear with me as I jump around a little bit, but this is just as we moved in and the very first thing I did probably within a few weeks of us living here it was paint the entire thing white. I uh, did Glacier White by Benjamin Moore because the greeny bluey color that was in there was just not working. I also would usually have a time lapse of painting for you guys but it's just so hard to record in this bathroom. This shelf I picked up on clearance from Bed Bath & Beyond and it actually worked out really well for the space. So after everything was painted, I got the shelf up and we added a few new features. Uh, we changed out the toilet paper holder for just a black one off of Amazon and changed up uh, the storage and whatnot and added a couple things onto the vanity. Um, but since then, I've just felt like it's not working super well. We also changed out the light from uh, the just regular builder grade light uh, to this one from Amazon and also added some hooks around. All of them are as well from Amazon. I ordered majority of everything online for this. It was just a lot easier given the times of the world. we get to the fun part so on a whim on a Saturday afternoon I was painting downstairs and I decided that our upstairs bathroom needed something so I grabbed a sponge and ended up doing another fun sponge wall uh, just dabbing my paint into the tray a little bit taking most of it off and then sponging just straight across the wall uh, you could use a level if you really want them to be straight but I wasn't too worried about it so happy with the sponge wall but some of the rest of the decor needs to get changed up the shower needs a little bit of some organization and whatnot done to it and all of these drawers and this rolly cart need to be cleaned and decluttered majorly i also wasn't loving how everything was set up on the vanity so i'm going to change that up as well but oh boy yeah it was it was needed so Let's start decluttering. The very first thing I did was take everything out. It was also really dusty because bathrooms get so gross. So I made sure to vacuum everything out and then take a damp cloth and wipe everything down. And as well as the products, I wiped all of those down as well because they were just covered in dust. So. As I put everything back, I really sat and thought about what I was going to use and I tried to organize things in piles together. So hair stuff together, makeup together, uh, face wash and that kind of stuff together. And I did this as you'll see in our drawers underneath the sink as well. Uh, I just feel like it's a lot easier to find things when it's just all paired together and it felt so good to declutter this space. <laughs>
time to look at what is underneath this vanity and it was not pretty. Uh, this vanity is not huge and it's also very awkward because our door interferes with one of the vanity doors. You can only have one open at a time. So these little drawer sets from Bed Bath & Beyond were really helpful but like I said they needed to be cleaned out so I pulled everything out first and then I put everything into piles, sorted it of hair stuff, um, things we use when we have a cold, all that kind of thing, and it tried to kind of pare things down into sections so that when you do go to find something, it's a lot easier. Also, as you've probably noticed by now, my cat Joe just would not leave me alone. He wanted to be part of the process, so let me know down in the comments. Do you guys have pets? Do they follow you around like this? Do they need to be right in the action or do they kind of keep to themselves? So the last part of the vanity declutter was doing our two drawers. So I have a drawer on the far right and Jordan has one on the left. I did clean out his as well, but he only has like five things. So it took me a matter of a couple seconds. Mine was a little bit more messy. I decluttered all of my hair stuff, got rid of some things and just kind of streamlined again into things that I use all the time. And it felt so much better. It's just so much more clean and organized. I love it. So a couple other things that we did end up doing in here, I spray painted all of the vanity hardware. Uh, it's been on for a couple months now and it's actually holding up really great so I'm very happy with that. We changed out the bath mat and changed out the light fixture at the top and all of the hooks and stuff were added and everything just feels so much more clean and spacious and bright and of course we added in some plants. Uh, all of them are faux plants except for the snake plant in the corner. He is real. I'm not sure if he'll stay there but for now I just I love him. I love having greenery in his face. I think it adds so much so this transformation was so fun and honestly it's so awesome to wake up and come into the bathroom and get ready in here in the morning it feels so much better I will see you guys next Thursday. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe so that I can keep bringing you more content. I took a couple weeks off but I am back and I'm so ready to bring you guys some new videos. I have some fun ideas planned so stay tuned for that and we'll see you all next week.